surveillance video shows the person in a black hoodie hop up to the fence and fire a barrage of bullets onto a crowded basketball court. Three together, boom, 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 and then they stop like two more, and they hit two more. Kids seen sprinting for their lives. And the looks on the kid's face, they was terrified, and they shouldn't have to live like that. A 16-year-old boy was shot in the foot and a 47-year-old man in the forearm. The NYPD says it happened last night around 7 inside Walton Playground. Police say these two men are responsible. Take a close look. The one in the black hoodie is allegedly the gunman seen on video. The other with a white undershirt is believed by police to be an accomplice. It's a real danger. Uh, I think the police had to cross our own more time over here. Just last week, the nearly $2 million renovated playground reopened. The court is adjacent to a play area for small children. This afternoon... I don't know. Activity again under the eyes of at least two NYPD officers. Councilman Fernando Cabrera says he's been told police will now be here when the park is open. One of those young person is from this community, and so they're, they're going to catch them quickly. Parents walking their kids home from school today say they are not taking any chances. Every time that he come out of school, he got to go straight to my job. I don't want this park. I am concerned because my kids play there. These kids need more programs where they're learning. The two people who were shot are listed in stable condition at a hospital. As for a motive, police tell me they are looking into several theories, including whether this was gang related. In the Fordham section of the Bronx, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.